Odessa, a little help here? Come on, man, don't tell me you've never lifted a box before. Dude, get up. See, that wasn't so hard, Odessa. You actually moved a muscle for once. Hmm, interesting. Odessa, did you leave the giant sphere in front of the tank? Uh-oh. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the primitive add-on, a mod that's going to let you modify and manipulate certain blocks. So you might be wondering, how do you even use this? Simply hold Q, go all the way down to the spawn list, go to shapes, and you can choose whatever shape you desire. So here's just a few of them we're going to put out here. These are the basic shapes that you can summon, and it does not end there because you can hold C and then press right click and you can edit the properties. This is where things get a little complex, so bear with me. First things first, we have an overlay which shows you the hitbox, the vertexes, and the convexes, if that's if that's how you say that. Anyway, it's just going to give you some more information on the geometry of each shape you have. Um, very, very handy. And again, that hitbox is pretty awesome because you're going to see in a minute, we can change the size of this in real time. We could also adjust the mesh, which I'm going to be dead honest, I have no clue what this does. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's amazing. So you can choose how many blocks are pretty much in each one. As you can see, you could just make it just four, or you could make it more than four. That is pretty damn amazing. I didn't even realize that. But there's also even more options below this. You can change the inside, or you can even invert them. What? Wait, what? Okay, I really gotta like test this out a little bit more. It's it's a lot of fun, so guys, definitely go crazy. We're gonna keep it like that though. We're gonna turn off all of this just so we can get a nice clear view. Next up, we can also choose a different shape for each of these. For instance, we can make a cube a cube, which doesn't actually change anything. But we can also make it a cone. As we can see, now our cube is no longer a cube. And we can go even further, we can make a cube with a hole in it. So if you, I don't know, wanted to like sit inside of it, well, unfortunately, we cannot sit inside of it because, well, we're a little bit too big, but no worries, we can change that. And that is where the final settings come in handy. We can increase the size of the block on the X, Y, and Z axes. This is what's blowing my mind, so check this out. Look at what we made. <laughs> and now we could go inside of it, so yay we're trapped now once again because we're changing this in real time you'd think that well obviously they're just adjusting the size to make it appear bigger but that's not the case as we can see with the outline that we made the hitbox this is a real full-blown physics object and yes you can completely manipulate it any way you see fit so if you want to make like i don't know a tunnel you totally could and then you can even walk through it and of course, just to demonstrate this, you can color it as well. So whether you want to customize it with different materials, like, oh, let's go with, here we go, perfection. And this is where the mesh settings are gonna really come in handy because now we can choose just how many Gordon Freemans we want on our stained glass. All right, so we've seen that, but now we're gonna go back to one of these blocks. We're gonna go ahead and edit this. Now we can see some more things. Let's go ahead and change the size. Let's do a wedge. Um, a wedge looks like this. Once again, you're not really happy with that size? Well, hey, guess what? You can increase it. So interestingly, with the wedge, it kind of changes its angle just slightly. Although that's kind of an illusion, in reality, it's just getting longer, so it appears to not go at such a harsh angle. And we can go all the way with this thing. In fact, why don't we? Let's just, let's go freaking to the moon. All right, so we can see we've made a gigantic ramp that unfortunately is stuck in the world, but I'm sure it still works just fine. All right, all right, all right. So I know it's kind of hard to visualize some of the practical aspects of this, so we're gonna go into a better example here. For instance, here we have a dome, which I made, and then we have two blocks. You know, we can kind of make like a building in a way. However, as we can see, it's a little, well, tilted. Well, that's kind of annoying because now we're gonna have to go ahead and delete this and make another, but wait, hold on. No, we don't because we can simply edit this and make this a little bit taller. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, right about there. And boom, now she sits flush. So now some people might be thinking, hey, this is cool, but I mean, it's all just a bunch of loose props. Well, the good thing about it is just like with the materials and the color options, this works with every single tool exactly how you'd expect. So here we pretty much welded everything. Now we can see it is one giant piece. This is honestly something that like, even after like wanting to do a video on this, I thought, eh, this is gonna be cool. 
But really like messing with this now, I'm starting to realize how absolutely fantastic this mod is because we've never really had something like this. For instance, I mean, you can go into like these blocks and you could summon, oh, I don't know, like this. And you know, you could do like that. Oh, you know, I need a bigger block. Oh, well, I'll just go with this. But those are separate blocks that you can't edit. And that's kind of frustrating. This way you do not have to keep spawning new blocks or figure out which one you need. You can simply edit it on the fly and figure out exactly what size you need it to be. For instance, what if we summon this plane? And we can do the same thing of course with a regular one like oh let's go with uh let's go with this. And I mean this is pretty big, you know, but it's not big enough to cross this gap. But with this little one right here, what we can do is we can simply edit it. And once we do that, we can adjust the size. So we don't want it that long. We want it to be maybe about there. And then we want to extend it all the way. Now we can see we still don't have enough. So unfortunately, you cannot edit the settings past their initial value. Um, it does let you type something in. But every time I've tried to type something in that's, oh, I don't know, like maybe even just 100 more it doesn't actually get any bigger, so you cannot go over the limit, which really sucks. By the way, something that's really cool is you can even taper it the further out it goes. So we can see it starts out more like a cone, starts out really wide, and then it gets thinner as it hits the end. All right, so we've seen this and that's cool, but oh, now I gotta summon another plane, and then I'm going to have to customize it all over again. Well, that is of course if we didn't have a duplicator, and the duplicator is going to come in handy here because it's going to let us well, exactly copy what we have here. And there we have it. So now we can simply bind these two together. You can even weld it if you really wish. And this honestly is just what makes this mod so amazing. So we are actually outside of the map by the way, so we can't we can't actually stop here. So I don't even know why I even made this bridge, but you guys get the demonstration. This is a mod that has a ton of crazy cool possibilities. I unfortunately don't have a whole lot of time, so I couldn't exactly explore everything that this mod can do, but just imagine what you can do when you truly give this to someone who has a lot of time on their hands. They're gonna go freaking nuts. But that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. Let me know some crazy cool stuff that you have made with this mod. Leave a like, subscribe. Check out my shorts channel. I'll put it in the top right corner. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.